Hi there. I wanted to do a, a follow-up video to a set of videos I did last year. Uh, those videos uh, went into detail regarding the construction of this room, the build out of this room that I did last year, which was about a nine month project that I took on um, to, uh, to, to rebuild this room and make it a, a dedicated listening room. This is my in-home listening room. It used to be a dining room and converted it into a listening room. Um, so it took me a while to do it and um, I just wanted to highlight some, some updates uh, that I've done recently. Uh, specifically around side the sidewalls and and this has to do with uh, an issue that I was listening to I could hear in that low mid uh, low mid bass range and that was that 250 to 300 Hertz uh, issue and decided to uh, attack it again with carbon and, and working with Dennis at acoustic fields came up with a strategy here to uh, use carbon panels on the sidewalls and so that's what I did as I set out to uh, go ahead and build some panels using carbon and uh, foam and I uh, started with the uh, larger panel here. I started with a 25 inch by 77 inch panel. Uh, it's five and a half inches thick, weighs 135 pounds. It has two inches of carbon in and also two inches of foam with fabric and trim, of course, and it sits on the floor. That's too heavy in this case to mount on the wall. Um, and then I have some, uh, some slim, uh, a slim version of that. Uh, and then on the uh, back, back wall there in the corner, I also have another uh, larger, uh, larger uh, carbon panel. Uh, the reason for the slim panels in the middle is that the, the larger ones just ended up being too heavy. At 135 pounds, it was difficult for me to carry them by myself from uh, the workspace in my garage to the, to the music room. Uh, so I decided to slim that down and, and those are about 60 pounds. And again, so what I'm trying to achieve here is to absorb some of that uh, reflection sound, that, that buildup of sound right around that 250 to 300 hertz level from sidewall to sidewall. Uh, that was an issue. Um, since putting these panels in, uh, I've cleared up probably about 65% of it, I would say, maybe 70% of it. Uh, not 100%, of course, it's, it's difficult to do, but uh, quite an improvement just in that specific range. And I think it's actually helping with the, the lower end too. It's just uh, more carbon in the room. It's just more absorption overall. But, uh, you know, my goal here was to uh, build this room, start with the, the low end, uh, the, the base issues in this room, uh, work my way up uh, from, from the low end to the mid to the high. And uh, again, using carbon and diaphragmatic in the front wall, rear wall uh, is the horsepower that really drives that low end uh, absorption, uh, which is great. And um, now I had moved on to uh, installing some panels and uh, trying to address some of the specific areas. Again, just dealing with that shorter space between the sidewalls. The sidewalls are about 13 and a half feet. The depth is 16 feet. Uh, and then the ceiling, I have a 10 foot ceiling. Uh, here, so yeah, just trying to uh, trying to capture as much of uh, the issue as I can. You know, my my thought here is that uh, if we're going to spend a th thousands or tens of thousands of dollars on a on a stereo system, uh, that we are going to get out of that system everything that it was designed to deliver. And and I just wanted to make sure I did that, and that's what um, set me out to do this. That uh, that I wanted to pull out of my system everything that it was designed to do, and and really hear what it was capable of delivering. And and the only way for me to do that was to design a room. Uh, in this case, what I had to work with, design the the room in a way that I could get that. So. Um, uh, it, it is fantastic. You know, in my case, I can hear the bass notes uh, for stand up bass notes, you know, the guitar bass. I, I can hear each one, each of the notes. Uh, there's no um, there's no uh, boominess or wash out there. It's, it's really clear and, and everything just opens up uh, and, and it's just really amazing to, to listen to that. So um, one more thing that I did, uh, actually a couple more things real quickly uh, on the rear wall. Uh, I just wanted to show you this. So on the rear wall, I have uh, diffusion. And what I did is I added a, another section of diffusion on the right there. So that's on a box with wheels. So I can roll that out, open the door, come in, close the door, roll it back in, and I'll have uh, equal amount of diffusion on both sides of the listening position. Uh, I also raised the uh, seat up about two, two and a half inches and put some damping material under that to decouple the seat from the floor. Uh, and also put me at the proper height to the um, the mid drivers and the tweeter uh, speakers. So that was nice. Um, so yeah, so it's just a couple of improvements. Um, and uh, it's sounding sounding really good in here. It's it's pretty exciting. Um, and then, oh, I'm sorry, one last thing. I did add a couple more uh, eight, uh, 24 inch by 24 inch panels uh, to the ceiling. These are just two inch foam panels of fabric and I put some dark trim around it to match everything else. So you can see here, uh, just kind of flanking the diffusion on the ceiling. 
um, just to take take advantage uh, of of the space there that was having I had some reflection off the ceiling so just kind of taking care of that a little bit and then on the rear wall um, as I had before just to kind of highlight that again the the slat system so the rear wall is uh, all wood all wood on the rear wall there's there's no um, no foam on the rear wall so it's just diffusion mostly just diffusion on the rear wall uh, so there you go that's that's it um, you know, I do have some ideas in the future. Um, I do want to um, look at soundproofing the ceiling. Uh, my daughter's room is right above the music room, unfortunately. So I was uh, looking at um, adding a soundproofing system on the ceiling, and that may be a later video later this year or next year. Um, but there you go.